Hey, your viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Strategist, and welcome back to Alice Madness Returns. This is episode 9 now. So, if you remember, in the last episode, we left off here, in this uh, little sort of corridor area. We just came through that over there, which was all full of giant crushing machines and all kinds of stuff. We're in the cranking up and pressing down section of the Hatter's Domain now. Up ahead, of course, we've got another chamber and what looks to be an eye pot lying in wait for us. He's just crawling around up there. Without further ado, let's get back to where we were. Let's get ourselves some more teeth. To start off, oh yes, I think that's right. Didn't we do an upgrade either in the last episode or in the episode before that? Okay, here he comes. No, you don't. Ow, bitch, please. Hmm? Get out of here, you bastard. <laughs> oh, no. Don't you hide away. Get it. Got him. Owned, bitch. Couldn't do anything about that now, could you? Hmm? Looks like we've got more crushing machines here. Oh, God. Dodge through. Oh, that was close. Yay. There we are. Oh, it's always a bit uh, nerve-wracking. Going through those crushing machines. Hello, hello. More boxes. Don't forget. Got my uh, awesome clockwork bomb. <laughs> ah, lovely. Now we're going up, apparently. Just be looking around as well, shouldn't I? Mm. That's where the iPod was before, down there. That's not where I need to go, clearly. No. We are going over here. Oh, I see, that's opened out there and unleashed an enemy on us. So what we need to do is this. Jump over the crushing machines. Oi! No, you run away from me, bud. Oh. That's no good. The door's on the timer. Okay. We have to be quick about this. I see. Oh, careful. Also got to be careful not to drop off. Okay, go, go, go. Gadget. Don't have time to waste. And we're through. Lovely. Door close. Or not. Okay. <laughs> oh no. There it goes. That's fine. That's dandy. Let's do this. Blow those up. Get more teeth. And there are more on the other side. No, there aren't. We should look around as well for any uh, little signs of secrets or anything. What's down that way? Is it just darkness? That's just darkness and despair down there. Never mind. No, oh, careful. No, oh, God. Right, well, we got lots of... Uh, crushing hands. I see an iPod up there. And another one up there. Yep, they're going to wake up, of course. And there's lots more enemies. Oh, God, lag. No. Don't, don't you come towards me, you bugger. That iPod up there is still sort of sleeping away. Okay, we're going to need to take out this douchebag. Get him. Oh, he nearly had me. Get him. Another one down. Okay, I think the iPod and I just got crushed. I was about to say, I think the iPod got crushed then. By that bloody machine, but... Oh god, the other one's awake. No. Get out of it. You're going to take me, do you? Jeez, I love the particle effects. Watch out, there's insidious ruin coming for me. Got him. He's down. Get out of it, you bastard. Oh. Good sky as well. Oof. That was a hectic moment, wasn't it? Well, that one just stopped there. Oh, man. I see a memory glowing through there. Oh. Now the clock up there. And flames coming out of it. Kinds of weird stuff that you can find in these levels. Or see, rather. Got it. Open sesame. Ah. Actually unlocked a Bumby memory as well. Well, we'll get that. Some insects eat their young, and they have much to teach us, alive or dead. Yes, the freakiness of nature, everybody. Oh God, where am I here? That uh, was a bit of a funny camera angle. Oh, we're getting to a new area. That's why. Hit iPods with a nasty surprise using the clockwork bomb. That's one possible uh, way to do it. Ooh. Hello, hello. Where are we now? What did that say? That said. Dodo... Miser... 
Miserium? Miserium. Okay, how interesting. I do see what appear to be dodos in some of these cages. <laughs> Another uh, animal that featured prominently in the Alice in Wonderland stories. See you down there? I hear a snout. Oh, did I? Yep, he's there. Okay. He's in a bit of an awkward location. Hold on, hold on. This is a better angle here. Yeah, and hold it. There we are. Got you. Yeah, bitch, please. And a bottle. Hello. That is always welcome. Let's get that. Oh, yes. How am I doing for bonuses? Two more bottles to get, three more memories, one more snout. And I could 100% this whole area. Obviously, radular rooms we don't encounter in this particular level. Okay, we're on here. Shrink. No, there's nothing else around close by. Let's go over here. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> I see you in there on that treadmill. Exercising away. What are you up to, you bugger? And unlock. Got it. Ooh, particle physics. They do cause a wee bit of lag. I'm sorry, I'll try not to keep mentioning that in just about every freaking episode. I mean, I don't know about you viewers, but I certainly know that Phil will probably bring me up going, Oh, Andrew, you got to stop talking about big FPS lag. That's exactly how he talks, you know. Talks like an old granny. Hey, Andrew, he read, you can't say that. Get us me slippers. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I just realised there is actually a memory up there. Um, oh god, I just noticed those. <laughs> hanging down there. Like poultry. Oh, pull the lever, okay. It probably allows us to get up there. We'll see. What say a few, Granny Phil? Hey, yes, you take the vent. Get Alice on the steam and blow up. And get up there. Oh, Granny Phil, thanks a lot. For your advice, my dear sage. That's when you know you have very little to talk about. Um... Or are you just making shit up? Uh, where am I going from here? That is the question. Um, am I supposed to jump across? Am I supposed to go up, maybe? No, that didn't work. Have I gone? Yeah. No, not there. Came up here. Maybe I can get into that memory cage, do you reckon? It looks a bit of an awkward angle, but okay, let's try it. One, two, three. Nope, I can't get that. Oh, where am I supposed to go? Granny Phil, why don't you tell me? Oh, hang on a minute. Wait a second. Can I go up here? No, it doesn't look like it. Or maybe... I don't know. No, that's way too high. There's no way I'm getting up there. And I fell down again. Never mind. Let's try it again. You see, this this is um, the thing. Even though I played this game before, I am going to be just a tad rusty from time to time. But seriously, where am I supposed to go? Am I supposed to... what exactly? Seems to be no immediate path, but... What? No, that can't be right. Am I going in there? That giant freaking mouth? Is that where I'm supposed to go? It doesn't look like it. Um. Oh, fuck me. Hold on. I just noticed that up there. Didn't even see that before. I was looking in completely the wrong direction. Okay, yeah, that brings the platforms round and down a little bit. Well, there you go, everybody. Like I say, I was looking in the wrong direction. Uh, right. So, whoa, okay. That was a bit of lag. I reckon I can jump and get that from here, can't I? Two, three, four, in. Got it. 
sleeps the sleep of the just. Like Pilar in the bar. After ten, they're unconscious. How lovely. If anyone's wondering, how do you send a canary to sleep? There's your answer right there. I know that's a question you've all probably been asking yourselves at some point in your life. We are approaching the engine room now. You know, it actually kind of reminds me of... I just thought of this randomly as soon as I saw the word engine room. Where I live, in sort of Lancashire, up in the northwest UK, there's this town called Clitheroe. Really nice place. Trendy, lovely. Former industrial town. But there's a company called Boland Brewery in Clitheroe. And, um... They own this property in the city, which was a former sort of warehouse, you know. I mean, it's still, part, it's still partly used as a brewery, but they now have a kind of great big sort of artisan gift shop thing there. And they also have a kind of restaurant slash bar called The Engine Room. And I've uh, been there once, and it was really quite something. Because basically they have the sort of main bar area. It's all very rustic and quite uh, quaint, rather. But um, they have this raised area, which is literally an old Victorian engine room with these old steam machines. But it's been converted into sort of like a restaurant dining area. So you can eat your food and drink your drinks whilst marvelling at Victorian engineering. Your dogged persistence will be rewarded with pain! I told you to cease and desist, but my warning goes unheeded! So without regret, you really like to feel like a lobster is being tossed into the boiling pot. Thank you much, Hare. I see you've got the hatter's legs. And now you're pulling at that lever. God, what happened to you? <laughs> Jeez. Okay, crushers. You're showing me the route. I see. The route to scare off the hare. Anything downstairs? No. Jeez. Oh, careful. Booming noise. Right, I'm through. Oh god, there's another one here. Whoa! I always get a bit nervous. Okay, blow up. Get all the stuff. There's another giant dodo. So like plodding along in the treadmill. Okay. Uh, there is a route down here. Huh? Something down there? Hold on. Got to check this out, everybody. Mm, no, it doesn't look like there's anything there actually. Come on. Let's leave... Oh, God, I nearly missed that platform. Let's leave this area. And go up here. So, yes, if you're ever in Lancashire, everybody, go to a town called Clitheroe. It's very, very nice. Go and visit the engine room. That's going to be the title of this episode, I think. The engine room at Clitheroe. Lovely jubbly. But, what's that sound? I said some weird noises. I can hear what sounds like the March Hare pulling on that lever, wherever he is. Ah, it looks like we've opened another path. That's it, you open up that route for me, please. Oh, is that a butterfly thing that I see? Oh, I saw rather off in the distance. Kind of looked like it. Well, we're going down again, okay. It's fine. We can go down again if need be. Oh, I fell. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it's hard to get up there. I should really just jumped from that first platform. Just gone that way. Okay, we need to go backwards. Because now this has opened up. <laughs> Got a squeaking sound that those uh, cogs are making. There's the rubbish chute where the legs are going to need to go. I see you up there, you bugger. March hair, what are you up to? Get all those. Now, we head into here. Whoa, careful. Go, go, go. There we are. Uh, going over this way. Just checking that there's no uh, shrinking violet stuff. Oh god, is that going to open? Yes, it is. Oh my god, lord, this looks like... Oh, oh, menacing ruin. Coming out. Take out the butterfly hives. God damn it, he's destroying that. Whoa, shit. Bloody hell. What am I hitting here? I'm hitting nothing. Shit. Carefully does it. Take out the butterflies. No you don't, bitch. Stop it. Take that guy out. Oh, no you don't. That's it, take him out. God dang it. Whoa! No you don't, bitch. Bitch, please. 
Oh god, they, 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 these freaking butterflies have got me. Come here. Get out of it. Oh, get out of it. Oh, got hit. I took that one of his faces. Oh, what's he doing? What are you doing, bud? No! I'm gonna shoot you in the face, bud. Oh, shit, me. No! Don't fucking get off me! Get off me! Get off me, you bastards! Right, there's another face down. Owned. Well, not owned, really, but. No! Oof, dodging, dodging like a pro. Dodging like a pro. Uh -huh. Carefully does it now. Got him. Right, he's down. Take that out. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? Eye pops. I don't like them. Well, they're, they're, they're creative as hell enemies, but you know what? Get this guy out. Come on. Oh, they're all shooting like crazy here. Oh, God. Oh, the lag. 7 FPS, eh? What a uh, good one. Get that thing out. So you can't bloody spawn any more in there. Okay, he's out. Okay. It's you freaking bastards. Down. Oh, the lag. There's another freaking butterfly nest up there. Right, come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Oof, what's all the enemies out? Jeez, that got a bit of a crazy situation that was, wasn't it? Lots of enemies all coming out at once. Oh, more lag again for some reason. Uh, 265, not bad for teeth there, eh? Let's keep going. Open this, so we get ourselves that teapot lever. There we are. Oh, look at my upgrade... Oh, I was going to say, look at my upgraded... Uh, oh, jeez. Look at my upgraded pepper grinder, that's what I'm trying to say. Jeez. But my bloody pickups and things are stopping me from saying it. Activate. There we are. Oh. <laughs> that guy just slumps. Don't you dare stop. Keep running. Don't help me out. 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 <laughs> He's getting mad. You mad, bro? Mm. That's what we want to say to him. Watch how you're going down, bitch. Coming for you. There we go up. And to here. Like a boss. Now there's lots of crushes here. Yeah, they're kind of going in a line, aren't they? Fuck. Get out. Go, 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 go. Oof. Just keep using that dodge. Are you gonna... Hello? Oh, <laughs> I knew it. Whoa, more lag. I think it's a bit laggy with those things, isn't it? Ah, down here. Hello, no. Who's looking around, yeah? Now, oh, can we go through there? Yeah, hello. Ah, oh, can't go through there. Invisible wall. Okay. Absolutely fine, I guess. Hello, What are you, uh, want to tell me here, Mr. Violet? Is there something secret-wise here? Not by the looks of it. Okay. Don't need to recharge any energy. That thing is, uh, being a bitch. So let's go here. Go down. Don't like the fact they're all so small. And up. Oh, we're going up there, are we? Yes. Lever this way. Hmm. Dost thou have no secrets in this area, in this vicinity? No. Oh, God. Something's rumbling. There's dust falling down everywhere. I think uh, you're going down, March Hare. Now we've opened up. Everything's overloading. You think that can stop us? Come near this today, I'll be leaving now. Never catch me. Don't even try. Right, he's gone now, just as the dormouse did. So now we need to get to where he was. I let the go this way and through here. We are amazing. Oh god dang it. A <laughs> booming sound. And we're up. There we are. Get his lever. That should give us the legs that we need. Or the hatter needs, rather. 
There they go. And jump. They just sort of glitch through the bars on that treadmill, but okay. There you go. Okay, right, that's another section of the game. There. Well, another section of this area, even. I mean, it is a section of the game. Don't get me wrong. I'm not incorrect to say that. Oh, God. Texture momentarily had to uh, load in there. You've got all your limbs back now. Stick them on there. There we are. Get those legs on. Hat. There we go. The classic uh, garment. <laughs> I finished my work, and you're complete, Tata. Now. What about this damnable train? I feel like a new man, or whatever I am. I feel like an unsprung spring, like an uncorroded gear, like an untarnished bit of metal that sticks in your eye. Answer me, Hatter. I'm suffering, and changes here are a cause, or they're a reflection, or the effect. What's going on? What are the new rules? The law is just, just a whisper away, away home to wonder, wonder who, who knows how to measure rules with a ruler. Cruel rules. Mm. Idiot. I should have left you in bits. Come, the least you can do is help me discover what's going on. God, he's big. Jeez. <laughs> Up we go. And through. There we are. Let's take a run. Heading for assemblage, it seems. Off we go, everybody. Okay, well, I think it's time to wrap this episode up here. So, it's episode 9 of Alice Madness Returns with me, General Red Strategist. We completed the cranking up and pressing down section. And now we're getting into a new area. Assemblage for destruction. So, we've still got to, things to find out which are going on in the Hatter's Domain. It's awesome stuff. If you're not doing so already, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Links in the video description, as always. You can all go and sign up to those to stay, you know, stay up to date with my videos as when I upload them. But in the meantime, I'll uh, you know, probably wrap this up and then get straight recording the next one. So yes, goodbye, everybody. Oh, got him. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Get off the edge. Oh, no, no, go. Get out of here, get out of here, get out, 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 get out. that monstrosity finished off. Get over there. See ya. Oh, shit, no, 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 no. Oh, fuck. I did not mean to do that. Oh, please don't tell me I have to kill it again now. Shit! God, stop, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Yeah. Oh, Lord. No, 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 no. Holy crap. This area's horrible. Oh, oh my God, I've been shot to fucking pieces. Ah! Oh, my. What the fuck? Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Oh, Jesus Christ! Holy shit! Fucking hell! Bloody hell, that did like a million damage! This better not be a- Wah! Shit! No! Oh my fucking god! How many- What?